Have you ever wondered what a giant mobile base on wheels that could eat other giant mobile base on wheels server would look like? You end up with something like this. This is our Mortal Engines server. And today we're going to be doing a final tour, showing the grids in their final configurations before the end event. Now, to give you a bit of a background on what this server is all about, players can choose to either play as a nomad, that's a flying grid with access to a trader, or they can play as a city, and the city has access to advanced refineries. Cities can level up in tiers, get access to more blocks by consuming other cities. So pretty much like the Mortal Engines movie, if you've seen that, or the book series. So let's have a look what's been built on this server today. And we're starting here with Shay's grid. As we know, Shay likes to build organic type grids. And on the back here, if you look closely, you might think this is just a dome, but no, this is a giant organic looking mushroom that's been mounted on the back here. And it's almost got this sort of python or scorpion sort of tail that's coming up through the top of the mushroom. Very organic, very spooky, and it's got a missile turret located there. Now towards the front, we of course have got this Bifrost inspired turret. You can see it's been written down the side there with the railgun harness in there. Now this lowers itself down with this lovely elegant curved wood structure to the base here itself. And you can see the front has taken some damage. It's got grinders that were mounted on. There's still some damage there from previous events and a railgun mounted towards the front there. Let's dive inside. And if we dive in here, it'll be a little bit of a cockpit area. I'm sure this is just one of many cockpits knowing in Shay's designs. You've got to keep them secure. And then coming into the central area, there is a little sort of plateau area where you could have perhaps a toilet over that side and a bar over on this side. Coming inside the actual vessel, you can see they've got access to the refinery and the productions of these large grids that need a lot of resources to keep going. And going into the underbelly, there's actually an area where a drill platform, or a drop drill, would actually be inserted here that would plunge down into the earth and extract resources. This is a really cool grid, but let's continue on and see what the other players have been building. Now, our next stop is one of the nomad outposts. And the nomads are allowed to have a little structure like this where they can store some resources and this remains protected for them. But this is Starbird's small holding. And you can see they've got this nice blimp-like structure up here holding various different cargoes. These are useful sort of cargo runs towards the trail. You can see the cockpit located in the center there. And then we've got two of these small nomadic fighters. And I really like the air intakes on this. I feel like I've said this before about some Star Versus designs. But look at them, little hazard air, air intakes there. And the armor just seems to flow on these designs. Little wingtip design with a star pattern on there. These are absolutely beautiful to look at. The hours of detail in each one of these wingtips and these spiral areas is incredible. They've got a magnetic clip on the back there for carrying items out of a raid, perhaps. And let's have a look at the armament of these. So coming down below, there's some nice little landing gears, and the armament is tucked right in here. We've got ourselves some Gatling guns and some auto cannons tucked there in the wing. Very nice grids here, Starburst indeed. Let's continue on. Now, the next base we're heading over to is Lil's sort of engine. Now, I say sort of engine because this is more of a racetrack. It's based on the Daytona circuit, or supposedly it is through the name. And you can see there's windmills around the side, and there's a racetrack that runs around the edge of this engine. So, very interesting. This is still a low-tiered engine, and there's a lot exposed here on this one. So, I don't know if this engine's been started and then given up on, or it's just a, a very lightweight design. You can see players have all sorts of endless types of imagination. Imagine actually having a race on this little track, clearing out them wind turbines and trying to race around the edge. That could make for quite an exciting little mini game. There's a little ramp here down into a lower hangar where I'm guessing you could store some small grid rovers. Still a cool little build there, Lil. Let's continue on. Now, the next engine we're looking at is G, and G has really took inspiration from the Mortal Engine series here. You can just feel by the industrial sort of nature of this city on wheels. You've got little apartments, you can see little balconies popping up over here, canteen areas over the back here. We've got this area with a menu so they could be served up food and really cool a little inspirational ideas like this in the lower decks they've got these sort of connection ports so you can imagine this rover's running away perhaps it drops some rovers with excess supplies before it gets captured lots of cool little features coming through the main square here 
we have all these buildings on these upper levels with catwalks and access ways and some of these buildings are facades so if you took in here you can see production refinery and cargo over on this side more hangar bays with access to the industrial car but it really feels like a mortal engine or what you'd expect a mortal engine to look like with this 1g so a really nice idea so you've got all the weapons on the front here as well that i like the idea of and there's an attachment point for some sort of weapon of some kind up at the front i think it's still a bit experimental in the front here as well we have missile launchers tucked behind all them doors so when this is chasing you down it can really bear a lot of firepower on you so watch out if that's on your tail now the next grid we're looking at is omf and fotted has really captured the mortal engines vibe here once again this is a much larger grid with a lot of a sort of larger wheelbase you can see there's so many wheels going on here there's so many catwalks it's got this real industrial vibe to it it's what you'd expect from a mortal engine access ways gantries and then as we go up the decks you've got these observation sort of towers control rooms turret statues and with a city like this you would expect they can't expand outwards like a traditional city would do so the only way they can expand is going upwards so they've got these little greenhouses stuck onto the side so there's just a small greenhouse here Coming around the side, we have got the Luther statue from the original Mad Aaron. A nice little addition there. Over here, we've got some sort of trees, a garden area. There is so much detail going on in this spot. It is a lovely design. We've got another greenhouse going on back here. We'll just plunge into this one to have a look at the detail that's going on. We've got UV lamps by the look of it, so they can help grow the food. Getting food on a mobile station like this would be very interesting. So we've got at the back here a theatre as well. Imagine being chased from the rear. There's even a spotlight up there detailing that area. Really nice work potted. And over on the distance you can see another one of the engines that we'll visit shortly as well. We'll have a little bit more of a look through the central corridors. You can just imagine this place being alive. This would be something that you'd see in like an MMO or something. A Fallout type universe game where all these corridors and back alleys would be populated i tell you a mortal engines game with like a fallout theme would be really cool like where you could explore a sandbox type environment with moving cities where everything's moving around cities are changing and upgrading you can visit them and fly about now that would be a really cool game concept coming up into these upper levels a little bit darker dingier areas leading between construction points we've got a cockpit there i wonder if that's the actual cockpit it's quite deep within the build so it would be protected we've got the traditional sort of cockpit here where it's right at the front and will blow off first but it does look nice especially in its oak sort of veneer coming on to a zoom out we have got a very large engine it's quite it's quite formidable that and it really does feel like a city that's just been added on top of different elements with different colors going onto it this is like an observatory type building or a more of a, a, a posher residence you could say on that side and then at the back you can see the theatre there, the plunge miner on the side. What's this? Is this like a container town? I'm guessing that's some sort of container town. If you do see this fotted, I'd love you to explain this grid. It's really nice. There's loads going on. We've got a loading bay up at the top there for nomads to visit. Is this a market going on up at the top here? There's so many levels of detail going on. Let's continue on. This is a lovely grid. Great work there, fotted. Let's continue on. Now the next engine we're visiting is Washington and this is by Thrax. Now Thrax has a more tactical style of gameplay. So you can see there is the main monument in the center there. You've got the Washington statue. You've got all these detailing pillars going on around the side. The building itself is very detailed. You've got the flag that is draped across the front there. And you've got these large sort of pontoons on the side. Now these would be very good in battle. These would soak up a lot of damage. Let's actually have a look what's going on here. So we've got reinforced blast wall armor to protect the wheels. That's exactly what these are to do. These are to soak up the armor and act as an area where future things can be constructed. Now along the side we have got a what sort of volley of different cannons with a good all-around type defense. Down the center here we have ourselves missile turrets I'm guessing tucked within yeah three layers of blast door very reinforced very protective if you lose your weapons in a fight then you're pretty much dead you can't really run away so you're gonna have to battle it out until all your guns all your ammo is expended and then try and grind each other down so you've got the garden with a little bit of a maze going on at the back here we've got access to the monument let's have a look what's going on inside I'm guessing with Thrax we've got some various different areas we've got a control seat I don't know if that's gonna be the main control seat we'll drop down the layers into the industrial car we all knew this is what Washington <laughs> the Washington Monument looked like inside if once again it gives me like a fallout vibe you know like when you go inside one of the fallout type bunkers this one all the battery walls there production refineries 
very very cool indeed let's have one final search around see if there's any more detail we've got a numerous amount of wheels here in case one wheels goes down have we got any sort of wheel repair system going on here i'm seeing connection points lots of cargo access so the wheels can be fixed on the fly but i'm not seeing any wheel repairs we've got a very strong chassis design here using them blast door blocks to reinforce areas but i do see if, if a smaller rover did get under here it could cause some quite dangerous havoc to the design itself but you can say that with a lot of the engines if you get under there and start blasting away and they're in trouble and that's why these larger grids are always vulnerable to the air to the ground and just having loads of turrets loads of firepower is not the only way to succeed in our mortal engine server but let's continue on now the next base we're heading to is stf and this is a nomadic outpost and there is some really cool grids here that we're gonna have a look around so coming over here we have a mini city yes a mini city look at this how cool is this so that's like a one of the mini turrets there we've got the monuments moving around people make glasgow <laughs> so it's like a mini glasgow city now that's really cool trying to get everything that small on that scale very cool there's like a little dockyard on that side with various different buildings cannons the monument Oh, that's a fun little idea. Mini, maybe mini city season would be fun. Coming over here, we've got some blimps. Classic sort of mortal engines designs. Let's have a look what it looks like from inside the cockpit here. Quick access for dropping out the back. Control seat where you would stand here at the front. Some smaller type ships. I'm guessing either these are drones or pilotable tool from inside. Yes, so there's the pilot seat. Coming up to the tower itself. Yeah, this is a, a pretty fun, and it's also based, what I'm guessing, loosely on the actual movie itself, because one of the characters does have a tower like this, where they dock their blimp to. It's got like a running up stack. It's very higgledy-piggledy. Higgledy-piggledy? That's not a word. Like, very sort of like a junk town sort of inspiration with these bronze and these fabrics. Very lavish, but it's, it's an unusual art style. That's what I'm getting at, or trying to get at. Very cool little base. It's very unusual got the various different grids stacked up the side here welders utility got another blimp that's docked there as well stf very nice very unusual i'm glad you're sticking to that unusual but familiar mortal engines vibe let's continue on now the next engine we're moving on to is shucks now shuck has gone with more of a vehicle type design and this is where some of the players argue a little bit back and forth is is it fitting within the mortal engine season does it look more like a tank or an armored vehicle and this is one of them where it's, it's very on the border you could say it's inspired by a sort of modern sci-fi city but really this feels like more of a tank or an armored vehicle than an actual city itself coming around the back you've got the classic apc hatch and then you've got another APC, of course, within an APC. You've got the various different control rooms, the lovely access doors, and you've got this really nice industrial interior. And what feels to be classic shut colours with these reds, sort of greys and blacks. Of course, the interior then leads itself around to the survival bay. You've got interior turrets like in all of Shuck's designs, because Shuck knows that people are going to get aboard, and when they do, you're going to need more things to kill them. So we've got the bridge here with a nice lcd panels so many buttons for you to press and fiddle with and then you've got this narrow viewing window right there a really cool grid just not quite what i'd consider a mortal engine but a very beautiful apc or tank type design now the next city we're looking at is nods rome now this is another city really embracing the theme of building an actual city so you've got them classic rome like pillars that wrap around the side around the refineries and come to the rear itself we've got them two sort of cathedral like towers on either side you can see there's been some battle damage to this one this one looks like it's competed recently in one of our little events and it's been patched up the best it can there is a sort of pool area around the back here part of the monument i'm guessing it's flowing down the water from some sort of water fountain within rome itself coming around the side if we go into these areas we've got roman baths of course it is rome after all and then as we come around the front here we enter into these really nice arches will almost feel a little bit like aqueducts coming inside we've got a really industrial looking car to this one 
let's try and access it a few other ways zoom ourselves out come through the sort of aqueduct that was wrapped around the front or the coliseum like gate and you see the front here is all smashed up but there was ground grounders grinders mounted around the front with missile launchers in the center and then up here there was a really large turret though there still is it's just a bit battle damaged but there's a turret with on the top as well so you've got the railgun and then you've got this gatling gun up here so a really nice city sad to see it a bit battered well, let's continue on now every time we do play mortal engines i am always in awe of our trade station now this trade station was built quite some time ago by cajun spice and i have to say this sort of treehouse type design with the leaves acting as landing pads these little mini cranes that hang off the side and have these little bits of cargo that sway they're just so cool this rodney's repairs garage it's a really nice sort of theme theme fitting type repair and trade center you can see they've got little farms that run around the side a little farmer sort of barn and water tower over there as well as an internal sort of docking bay with some rovers that are undergoing repair so this is acts as a trading hub for the players to visit but i also just like to have a look at this sort of tree like trading outpost and thank cajun for building this it's also been updated and modified by comrade of course over time because this one is quite an old build but that's it that is our mortal engine season of course there's lots of grids that i haven't covered there's grids that were half built half constructed and i really wish that i would have collected a bit more footage from this season there's going to be a few more videos out of battles and things that have happened and there'll be something for you to look forward to